tell me a little bit about your plans as the newly elected mayor. So as your mayor elect today and then mayor tomorrow, we get sworn in on Tuesday and I plan on going to work. So we will jump right in there and we'll start having meetings and, and initially what we'll really try to do is onboard the two councilmen that we have coming on. And then I'm trying to train the other four and get them up to speed so that they don't, th these are the ones that are in the runoff, that those candidates don't miss out on anything that we're doing. So um, top policy concerns and planned solutions. What can you tell me about that? Top policy concerns, really like probably the, the most thing that, that, we're, that we have facing us right now is the budget. And so uh, getting in there and taking care of that budget, making sure that we have the most amount of time because it comes due in August and really early September is when we've got to vote on it. Uh, we've got to make sure that we've got the budget priority one and inside of that budget, uh, public safety's first. So one of the things that we're targeting or that I'm gonna try to target is uh, panhandling and, and some of our homeless issues and just helping our staff and helping our citizens that are already out there doing the work. And so that, that's number one and number two right there. So, and, and you kind of touched on this already, but what's the first thing that you plan to implement um, as soon as it's, it's go time? And do you have kind of a timeline you can share with me? Sure, so an easy one for me to tell you, the first thing that I'm gonna implement that I get to do as mayor, because everything really is done as a council as, as a whole. So um, the thing that I get to do is, is manage and run those meetings. And so our city council meeting, uh, you'll see a new arrangement as far as kind of a new seating arrangement. And then uh, I plan on implementing uh, public comment back into our meetings and getting away from the public address. And so the way in which we get to run those meetings is gonna allow me and the rest of council to communicate with our citizens uh, get involved in discussion and then also work with them on some of these policy solutions we're looking for. Why do you think that that's important? That's the most important thing because I know that a majority of our citizens don't feel heard and so if you don't feel like we're listening to you or if you feel like our decisions are already made then it's real hard for you to have trust in us that we do have your best interest at heart and that we will work with you and so the first thing that we can do down there at City Hall is change the way the meetings run and get ourselves back to basics in, in you know, good old fashioned communication. Let me hear what you're saying. Let me take that into account and do the best I can with what I have. So are there any planned management staff changes? There are no planned management uh, or staff changes. So what we have right now is a entire council change. I will be brand new to that center chair and I'll have four new council uh, members here before too long and so that's a that's a change in in and of itself enough and so we're trying to keep all of our staff uh, right where we've got them and help them do their job to the best of their ability I was gonna ask about the changes to public comment <laughs> and so oh, you already, yeah I got you that already one. touched on that so nah. tell me about budget and tax rate goals that you have so budget and tax rate goals are, are kind of one in the same. So w I have a goal and I believe the new council will have a goal of working with what we have. I believe we have an adequate budget to take care of all of our core services and to work in the areas that we need the money. Now you could always use additional funds. And so we are trying to raise those additional funds through revenues and, and through streamlining services and freeing up some monies in that budget. But then as far as a tax increase, um, that, that's what we're trying to avoid. We want to make sure that we go through that budget, fine tooth comb, and that we use every dollar the best way we can before we'd ever look at a tax increase. And uh, on the subject of that, do you support spending tax dollars on downtown? Um, well, we are going to spend tax dollars on downtown. We have the tiers program that automatically uh, holds and reinvests some of those tax dollars downtown. We also have some, some other grants and funding that is putting money in downtown. So I still believe in downtown. Now, in the way of taking on a civic center or anything big like that, that's not anywhere on my agenda, nowhere in my, my near future plan. I do want to address that here one day, but, but not today or tomorrow. Um, but yeah, we, we will go ahead and look at the budget as an overall and really what we'll focus on is public safety, trash, core services first. Awesome. Is there anything else? There? No, you got, you got some good ones. Awesome. Thank you so much.